Um, this is a really good example now of the M4 board, which um, Duke has made at spinpoint.org. It gives the old Amstrad CPC series an SD card input plus a Wi-Fi connection. So we'll boot that up now. I'm using a CPC 464. And you see how quick these old machines boot up because the operating system is on ROM chip. Um, now we're here. You can list the files. See, so we've just got a couple of files. Super mode zero, you can see we've got um, a couple of files there on the SD card. Um, almost 8 gigabytes free, and that actually registers through the Amstrad operating system. It's, it's, it's aware of the amount of space on the SD card, which is good. Now we can go ahead and get a file from the internet. So, because I'm using basic 1.0, we have to use a variable. So we call the variable u dollars. Let's say uh, u dollars horn uh, slash. Let's get the index file HTML. Next command will invoke something from the board, which is that the reason for that point. HTTP get, and then we'll bring in that variable u dollars. That will get that file from the internet. There we go. Download it in one second. List the files. That falls there now, and there's no native way of viewing it on you know the, the bare bones operating system. That's why it, it, it's got a built-in programming language. So let's load this example uh, type. This is just a slightly modified example that I've done. So if we list, it's literally seven lines of code based on an example which I've just added a couple of lines to actually ask which file and change the screen mode, etc. So we can run that. Say which file to display. We can say index.html, please switch to mode 2 so we can see more, more text on the screen and it will it will display index.html in raw ASCII form. Now you can you can take that further and make a HTML parser and display it more fancier if you edit that code but I've just given a, a raw example here. Um, we can reboot this again. That file still there index.html. We can load the you know, election we run the election. Oh the Russians did it yeah reset. You can see how quick this is to boot and restart because these old operating systems are on ROM, which is really handy. And I think that's really good. Um, you can do a lot more things with it, such as if you get a memory expansion, you can run SymboS, you can have a mouse, you can uh, multitask with IRC, listen to cheap music all at the same time, upload, download files. The, the developer is really good that he's given a assembly code, you know, some of the source code. You can interface a lot of things with it. You can run a server and a client, it's really good. Yeah, that's that. Pretty good. You see this old monitor? It's like a freaking x-ray machine. Because these, you know, these CRTs give off x-rays anyway, but fuck, you see this? Shit. So, you know, it's like a clinical dose of x-ray in these fucking things. Oh well. That's that.